Hey guys, how's it going? So, I'm making the video as of 3.49 a.m. Why? Because I don't feel like waking up early in the morning to be making a video just before the market opens. I plan to sleep in, but uh, Sundial Growers is uh, skyrocketing right now, and it could be, you know, a potential... Though, I wouldn't call it, like, $100 like AMC, but I think that... It, you know, it's the sundial could be the next AMC, as in you know, huge gains in a short amount of time. Why did I say this? Well, because Wall Street bets right now they're attacking anything that is uh that has a big short position on it, and sundial has a decent sized short position of two hundred and fifty six million shares shorted. And, uh, you know, the retail investors, they might, you know, they might look around for other investments besides AMC. So, and Sundial is a penny stock. And back in the day, Wall Street Bets was uh, very, very bullish on Sundial. I think Sundial was the number one MJ stock back in the day. And Sundial also went to, you know... I believe almost four dollars it's 52 week high was four dollars so there's a possibility that the next time AMC rallies we could see this thing go above uh, four dollars we could see this thing maybe go to five ten dollars but again you know I'm biased because I'm a shareholder so but uh, you know, I think it's a possibility. You you never know, right? If we use it, we we use the same logic as AMC. You know, AMC. I don't have the article up here, but according to an article, AMC has about three point two million shareholders. So if you know, if you take no, not even three, but if you take a million shareholders, right? I'm not talking about like you know. A shareholder could be a like some shareholders could put in a thousand dollars. Some shareholders can put in, you know, five thousand. Some shareholders put in a hundred thousand dollars. Some shareholder put in ten thousand dollars, and then some shareholders, like rich ones, could put in millions of dollars into AMC. But let's just call it the average, right? The average of ten dollars. So if we take out, you know, ten dollars uh, for a million shareholders, ten thousand dollars, sorry, uh, that would be ten billion dollars. So ten billion dollars would give it a market uh, would give it a price tag of five dollars. So you know, I'm thinking that there's a possibility it'll go up to at least five dollars. Maybe it'll go up to even ten dollars. Who really knows at the end of the day? Uh, maybe you know that maybe if AMC just keeps going higher and higher and higher, uh, you know people might just try to pump this sundial to higher, higher, and higher because uh, fundamentals don't matter right now in this kind of market. It's all about destroying the shorts, and uh, who knows. Maybe AMC is going to go to at least, I think at least it's going to go to $2. At least $2. If you want to sell out and you think that it's not going to go any higher, then yeah, go sell out. But, I, you know, I'm just saying that there's a possibility that AMC could go to $5, $10. Not, not saying it will happen, I'm just saying that it's a possibility. You know, maybe maybe Sundial will come out with some 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 fantastic piece of news that will you know make shareholders even more bullish and pump more money into the stock and maybe it'll go to ten dollars. I don't know at the end of the day. You do what you want to do, but I think short term, I think the stock is going to at least two dollars. Uh, I think there's going to be a short squeeze. And I think it's going to go to at least $2. But who knows? Maybe it'll break this 
two uh this two dollars and ninety five cents that happened last time, and we can see this thing go to you know five six dollars. I mean, uh, if we look on the balance, the balance is not bad, right? It's like they don't have any debt and they have a lot of cash on the balance sheet. Like the debt is like nothing. And the cash on the balance sheet is pretty decent, I think. It's 900 and 970, nine, almost a billion dollars of cash? Really? How do they get a billion dollars of cash? Billion dollars of cash on their balance sheet and like no debt. Interesting. I bet, I mean, I don't think I can look at Seto, but oh, look, they have a billion dollars of cash on their balance sheet. So, not going bankrupt anytime soon. Just saying. So, we'll see what happens, but uh, they have a billion dollars of cash on their balance sheet. They're not going to go bankrupt. Uh, I think they're slightly profitable right now. I could be wrong, but uh, I think so. No, nope, not profitable. Never mind. Cost of revenue. Okay, their gross margin is terrible. Uh, but uh, you know, I don't think fundamentals really matter at the end of the day. I think uh, stocks are valued as much as investors are willing to pump. And if AMC continues to go higher and higher and higher and higher, I think that could push Sundial higher and higher and higher and higher. But again, that's just my opinion. And none of this is financial advice, so we'll see what happens. Uh, GameStop is uh, up uh, $6.26 after hours. I still think that this thing is going to $300. I, I made a video saying that I thought GameStop's going to go to $300 short term. After it hits $300, could it sell off? Only time will tell. Workhorse. Uh, Workhorse is also getting short squeeze right now. It's up $2.55. This is not financial advice, but I think Ride could be a buying opportunity right now. I think it's going higher. I think if workhorse is getting squeezed, I think uh, I think people are gonna go and try to squeeze the short sellers out of this one. It has a decent shot, a short position of thirty four million shares, so I think that shorts could go after uh, uh, Lordstown too. Only time will tell. Clover Health is also getting short squeeze right now. I, I had a position with this. I sold out for 15% profit. I could have got away with at least 50 or more. Uh, this stock could go to like $12, $13 here in the short term. Only time will tell. Uh, Funware uh, is, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but they're going to do a uh, big, event with CNBC and Fox Business Network and uh, I'm assuming that they're going to have some kind of big news and because they, they need something to talk about so I don't know I hope something big happens tomorrow for it because I'm a shareholder uh, Tesla is getting funded getting a uh, big getting uh, big FUD with the SEC, so it's under a little, it's under some pressure. Uh, Neo right now is under pressure too, but we'll see, you know because Tesla and Neo are kind of linked together. Um, if Tesla goes down, Neo kind of low bearish too. Uh, anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.